Hey, another community day today. I still have some decors arriving actually. I forgot to send them out last night. As well, there's been so many changes, huh? Especially with that new horn where you can call, I guess, friends to do battles and all that. Some of you actually sent me some requests. It looks like I missed some of them, but I guess I'll start the flowers, do the walking, help some of you out, and talk a bit about, I guess, some of the stuff that you guys mentioned about the comments and stuff, which actually Niantic read. Let's get started, huh? Where's this first one? Punte de los novios. Is that how you say it? Let's get all the Pikmin prepared, I guess. I do have some Halloween treat gold seedlings to sprout still and as well I have some previous ones I'll show you guys what it looks like and also what I completed during the time for example the ice cream ones and all that.
12 duplicates. That's no good. Well, there's still a lot of time left in the event. Where's this? Some place in the US? I do notice a lot of people skipping the Halloween mushrooms. Are people starving for nectar for the quest and all that? why a lot of people aren't attacking the Halloween mushrooms because people just don't have the pigment decors for it. Like just walking by here, you can see this one person trying to do it all by themselves. And you only have so many. Oh, the animation didn't pop up where I got to see you get the badge. Well, here it is. For those who are unaware, there is this new horn item now where when you're attacking mushrooms, often people say they need help from people all around the world. So now you can actually use this item and whoever you select, they can actually join your mushroom as if they're right there. And the great thing about this too, initially I thought they're gonna make it kind of like how it is in Pokemon Go where you have to use these premium raid passes. But the good thing is if there's space and they have free passes, that'll basically count as a free pass. So you don't have to use a premium one, which is nice. However, if the room is filled up with already five people, it could be someone local as well within your area, then the person who you contacted with the horn would have to actually use a mushroom ticket in that case. The item does refresh once a day, so it gives you a lot of flexibility. I think it's great anyways in terms of increasing things like engagement, and I enjoy helping people. It's just a matter of, I guess, the limitations in terms of how much you could do, the Pikmin you have available and all that, and at the same time, whether or not you can keep spending, for example, mushroom tickets with the way it is. that one decor still coming here and as well I ran out of storage so time to upgrade. See how that goes? It comes in handy to save your Pikmin. For events like these, I would imagine later on, ones like the Mittens will become strong again as well for those who got them last year. Makes me wonder if I should upgrade some postcard, I guess, slots too. show you guys the decor once it arrives I guess in the meantime while I finished my day and all that I guess I'll talk about a bit just about the comments you guys left I can assure you guys Niantic read every single one of them I was even talking to them a bit in terms of trying to clarify what some of you meant I think overall it's good that they're actually listening I think the only thing that came up which was kind of I guess confusing from their part was the discussions about mushrooms for example and I tried to communicate, I believe some of you are trying to express the limitations where having only five people be able to enter a mushroom where the six has to spend, for example, the ticket, I guess you'd prefer it if it was a different system. And in general, there seems to be some kind of, I guess, 
business head, obviously, saying, oh, we think it's better this way. So I tried my best to communicate how I believe the current way it is. For example, like you can see clearly today, for example, where people can't even defeat those Halloween mushrooms, regardless of how many people they have, it seems like. So there's some kind of imbalance. So either that needs to be addressed in terms of the gameplay balance, or I guess there is some kind of issue with how many people could actually enter without having to spend, I guess you could say, those mushroom tickets, like the premium non-free ones. So if you want, you can leave your comments about that too to clarify, for example, do you like it the way it is with the current limitations and how it is? I did try to use their other games too as examples. For example, their most recent ones like Monster Hunter or even things like Pokemon. It seems like in those cases, in my opinion, they actually in many ways encourage more people as much as possible anyways within reason to join in like for raids for example. So I hope Pikmin Blue would be like that too. Because there was even an example where one of you invited me to some mushroom. I don't know, it seemed like it was in Japan and there was so many people whacking on it. But despite that again, they weren't even able to take it down, like even with my help, for example, to get, let's just say, a really high ranking. So I don't know, if there's something needs to be fixed there, in my opinion. I remember last year, actually, with the Halloween event, that seemed like it was balanced, in my opinion. You sent the wrong Pikmin, well, you're gonna stay there forever. Whereas people who actually got, let's just say, the pumpkin ones, you were able to help immensely, and the rewards were great too, right? I don't know, what do you think? On a side note, I finished Pikmin 4. I didn't get around to making a video yet. I was thinking too, by now, if you played it, you probably already did. And if you didn't get a chance to, this would be a good way to show everyone, I guess, some of the things in the game. For example, a lot of people were hoping there would be things like the glow Pikmin during the Halloween, which didn't happen. But it could give you an idea of what to expect, potentially, anyways. Other than that, I gotta wrap it up soon and I'll show you what the decor looks like once it arrives. Oh, sorry guys, looks like this game is glitching out today. I went to open this and again, the animation got frozen at first and it just popped up here, but this is what it looks like.